This is the Chapter 13 Lesson 2 Work Together Problem uh, from our Century 21 Accounting Textbook by Gilbertson, Lehman, and Gentine. Um, so credit given to them for this problem. So the first thing we're going to be doing is calculating our FUDA taxes, um, unemployment taxes, FUDA, federal unemployment tax, is owed on the first 7,000 of earnings for each employee. So here's our employees, and we know that they have accumulated earnings, and so then how many earnings they need to get to their FUDA tax base, which is 7,000. Okay, so Nick Ellis was at 6,100, so his next 900 will have uh, federal unemployment tax calculated on them. Well, he only made $762.50 this pay period, so he will have food earnings on that. That whole amount will be um, subject to the federal unemployment tax. So now let's look at our next one. This Evan Jennings, he has already earned 7,980, which means there's no more money to get to 7,000. He already passed that. He earned 1,040 for this pay period, but it doesn't matter because he will not have any earnings subject to federal unemployment tax because he's already been taxed on the full 7,000. He's earned more than that. Okay, so now we have Virginia Powers. She already earned 4,380, um, which leaves her 2,620 to get to the 7,000 mark. But this pay period, she only made 527. So that's, that number is less than the 2,620, so she would be subject to federal unemployment tax on all of it. Okay, so here's our last one. A little trickier, Carrie Wolf previously earned 6,850, which means she's only $150 away from that $7,000 uh, maximum. So even though she earned $849, dollars and 50 cents this pay period she's only going to be taxed on the smaller amount of these two which is the 150 she has left to get to 7,000 so now what we would do is we would just add these up with the nice little sum function and same thing here if you don't want to type in equals sum you can come up here to your functions button and choose sum and then drag through the cells you want to add. So you should have had 3,179 earnings for the current pay period and $1,439.50 um, earnings subject to federal unemployment tax. Okay, the next step we have to do is to go ahead and calculate the amount of employee payroll taxes owed and use the employer payroll tax rate shown in the chapter which I've went ahead and added into here for you. So it's just an equals, we calculate social security tax on the total earnings for the pay period times this tax rate gives us 197.10. Same thing for Medicare on the total earnings for the pay period times the 1.5% gives us $46.10. Now we're doing the federal unemployment tax. So it would be calculated on our FUDA earnings times the 0.8% is $11.52. And for state unemployment tax, we'd still go based on the FUDA earnings times the 5.4%. $77.73. Seventy we would just do a quick total on those. Of these four cells, sum of G9 to G12, gives us total payroll taxes of 332.45. And now we get to journalize our payroll taxes. Use page 10 of the general journal, memorandum number 46. So we'll go ahead and fill in page 10, and our document number is memorandum 46. And our date would be the 15th. 15th of May. Our account titles. We would start with payroll taxes expense. 
and that would be for the total amount, and it would be a debit, of course, because it's an expense, and you increase an expense with a debit. And then we would go ahead and make all of these payables our credit lines because you increase a, a liability with a credit. So the first one is Medicare tax payable, and then always indent these. Whoops, actually that one should have been the next one. I'll just copy it down there. We needed Social Security, Medicare, and Unemployment, Tax, Payable, Federal, and Unemployment, Tax, Payable, State. And those would all four be credit amounts, and in fact they would be these. I could control C, copy them, and come over here, paste special as values only, and then it won't mess up my formatting. And these should total the 332.44, and they do. And that would be it for our journal entry. And that is all for 13-through work together as we record our employer payroll taxes.